Right, hey guys, um, if you've been watching the last episode, I was talking about if you get older, one of the things you can do is use an improvised weapon, right? And uh, some of you asked for me to give you some example, um, especially Peter, our friend Peter. So Peter, if you're watching this, this clip is for you. Um, to give you some example, you can use a cane, you can use a flashlight, you can use a baton. Today, I don't have a cane, but I do have a flashlight here. So, let me use this one. Alex, can I use this one? All right, cool. So you get a flashlight, right? It's gonna hurt, so I'm actually, I'm not gonna hit this one. I'm gonna use a bottle. <laughs> so I'll use this as simulate a flashlight. First thing is, if the guy's coming up to you, what you should do is try to avoid this stuff, right? Which is kind of, because in martial art, there's a lot of machoism right now, but real life is not a joke. You can get hurt, you can go to prison. So try to avoid conflict if you can. If you can't and the guy does come at you, and you do have an improvised weapon like a flashlight using a bottle of sunlight, there are some stuff you can do, right? So if Chris attacks, there's some stuff you can do like this, right? I don't know what I did. That's, okay, let me go slow to explain this. Okay, so he came at me and I hit him. And then he came, and then he came and I went like this and crossed over, right? So let's see that slow. He went back like this and I hit over, right? But there's so many combinations you can do where he hits, you can take out the shoulder, pick up the groin, step on the foot, hit the head, it doesn't matter. He hits, bang, bang, I gotta make a move. Do this, yeah. So you see how you can cross over and use, use your hand and hit an angle up, right? If he grabs or something, you can hit him right away, right? You can use this to pin down, bang. It doesn't really matter. So, but there's a catch to this. None of this is gonna work if you have to think about it. You have to do this until you don't have to think about it, right? So the secret to this is, you have to practice a lot, and the secret to that is, you have to find something you enjoy, or it's just gonna turn into like a new year resolution, right? Where it lasts about two, three weeks, and then you don't show up anymore. So find something that you actually enjoy to do. And another thing is, a lot of times when people get older, they start to think, they can't do this. That's, but the best martial artists that I've met so far, they're in their 70s, in their 60s, in their 50s, and they can all kick people's butt that's a lot younger, right? So you don't want to start having that attitude, not just for fighting, but for everything, okay? If you have any more questions, please email me. But I just want to explain one more technique before we go, because it seems like it went a little too quick. One of the questions I remember you asked me is what happens if you're not as strong as fast as a guy? I'm moving very slow today. So he comes in, I'll go fast as you can. I'm, go fast as you can. Look how slow I'm moving. Okay, no force, right? I'm standing in with no leverage, okay? He comes in, go harder again. Not using any force. <laughs> not using any force. The reason is when he pushes, he goes into the ground to find the alignment, right? I'm not trying to push his arm like this. I'm not trying to block his arm. I'm not trying to cover his arm. None of that will work if I'm weaker than I am and I'm smaller. It's just when I touch the arm, when he pushes, push hard, Chris, push even harder, push harder as you can. He goes into the ground even if I'm on one leg, push, right? So you find the alignment, right? That is the type of thing that I'm talking about. So you're not using force against force. To, after I hit him, when I push him, can I step, Chris? Don't let me move you. I can't move, I'll show on Alan today. If you just curve it, look, now he moves. All I did was add a curve to it, right? That's straight from the 24 in Tai Chi. So when you move the guy, now I make room to hit, right? And if you hit the guy, he can take it, right? But if you use the tip, you can't take it, <laughs> okay, right? So that's what I mean by you don't need a lot of force. But like I said, what you gotta do is find a good teacher and uh, study a lot. Find something you enjoy so you actually show up, right? And when I see you in person next time, I'll show you some stuff. Okay, that's it for today.